how do I fit all this in? Well, when you see it in this fashion, you can say, all right, it's 8 a.m., 9 a.m. Let's go check off the easy stuff for the day and get some momentum here, get some some dopamine from crossing things off this list. Let's get the groceries done. Let's get the car washed done. Let's get this all done within the first two hours of my day. We have all got way too much going on today. And if you are like me, you are a 25 to 35 year old man looking to either get better at your corporate job or have a side hustle to either increase your time freedom, increase your lifestyle, increase your wealth, some combination of these options. Now, the problem with joining this kind of mentality and being some of these like highly driven individuals that are looking to enhance their career or build businesses or side hustles, generate income to help their families and themselves, you have to recognize that you're going to be adding in a lot of work and a lot of effort and a lot of possible stress on top of your daily life in order to get to these places. Before you get to the the easy part, it definitely will get harder. Now with that in mind, how do we get more work done in less time with higher quality? And how do we have a productivity and like an efficiency planning system to understand a couple buckets of information and get them done when we're ready to get them done at the highest possible speed possible. So you can actively allocate time to your side hustle or to your certifications outside of your normal work. For me, this kind of boils down to the three buckets. And once I know the three buckets, I can then adequately put information into them. And when I'm ready to tackle them, I can not only plan ahead and see what's coming so I can get started on it early, but also I don't have to think about things that need to get done as I'm trying to get things done. We need to get this stuff out of our mind and we need to get it into a system so that it's there and ready to go as we are. The first bucket is going to be your big stressors, the things that you need to get done for your work, like a big presentation due in a month or due in two weeks, or like a big certification you're trying to get done, like PMI or Agile or plumbing certifications or whatever certification it is, right? These are not like daily and weekly things, but you know about them ahead of time. But if you don't start them soon, you won't be able to have, you know, enough resource time to get it done by the, the dedicated window. So this bucket, we kind of need to know about in advance and I call it the big stressors. These are the things that are moving you ahead, moving you further, getting you, you know, more salary or more income on the side. You just need to figure out what they are ahead of time so you can adequate enough time to, you know, actively get them done appropriately. The second big bucket you got to focus on and understand is your things that make you tick. The personal things that make you feel like the boss and make you your best version of yourself. So for me, working out, eating good foods, seeing my family, reading books, reading my Bible, doing all this stuff. These are the things that really make me like a better person and I feel my best when I do them. So I need to prioritize them prioritize them and I need to know about them. Once we know about these things, we don't have to actually pull them out of our mind. We can list them out and then we can prioritize them within our big things and within our daily goals and within our work and within our side hustle so that we can not only, you know, enhance ourselves in our, our lifestyle and in our work and stuff, but we can also have a better life that fulfills us. So first you want to know about the big stressors, the things that kind of stress you out. They got to get done. You got to do it well. The secondly, you need to know the things that make you feel like a good person so you can count counteract these two together and, you know, be satisfied while also working really hard. The third thing you're going to want to do is figure out all those mundane things or have a place to put in the daily activities that show up randomly, whether it's the doctor's visits, the pharmacy visits, the oil changes, the car washes, the grocery shopping, all this stuff that just has to get done. You need a spot to put it because it doesn't really fit in with your business and personal and work goals, right? It's not part of your side hustle. It's not part or part of your work certification. It's not part of earning more money. It's just all the other stuff that's got to get done in order for these to get done as well. A great example of how these three would fit together is, you know, you have a your your planning spreadsheet, right? I got one down in the description for you. I also got one on Amazon that I've kind of worked from to build in Notion. Um, but you got your planner, right? Whatever system you use to plan this stuff out, you're looking at it in the morning and you're like, all right, what in the world needs to get done? And so you see you got a couple big projects due in a couple months, one this week, one in a month, and one in two months. You got some things that you wanna do for yourself, whether it's meditating, reading, praying, anything here. And then you got a couple things that you don't need to get done. Today's Saturday, so you gotta do some groceries, you gotta get the car wash, you know? What are those things? But when you see it as a whole in a planner, in a tracker, you can say, okay, this is my day. I know I need to get groceries and car wash done. I know that, you know, I wanna go on a run and I wanna pray and I wanna meditate and this thing. So I, I wanna do that for myself. And then I also need to get started on some of these things due next week and due in, in a month and due in three months. So how do I fit all this in? Well, when you see it in this fashion, you can say, all right, it's 
8 a.m., 9 a.m., let's go check off the easy stuff for the day and get some momentum here, get some some dopamine from crossing things off this list. Let's get the groceries done, let's get the car washed done, let's get this all done within the first two hours of my day. After that, I'm gonna take a little time, take a break, eat some lunch, and then go for a quick run. You know, Then I'm gonna sit down and do a couple, do an hour or two of this project, then I'm going to go, you know, read my Bible or hang out with my wife or my girlfriend. Then, you know, we're going to eat dinner. I'm going to take a shower, relax. And then I'm going to come back and do another hour or two before watching a movie for the night. So when you have this productivity system laid out, you can be very efficient with your time and very understanding of how your time is being used. Now, don't get me wrong. I know this concept is a little bit foreign or a little bit hard to comprehend in some scenarios. So let me show you the one that I have built for you in Notion and the kind of way that I break this down. Also real quick, shout out to Scribbles That Matter. They're the ones who created this paper one I'm showing on the screen. And I have taken this paper one and I have built it for free in Notion. Now in this Notion template, you can look at this and you can go, what are my weekly priorities? What are my weekend plans? What are my habits I'm trying to build for myself? And what is the daily to do? You kind of see how these big three buckets we talked about are here and broken down. You got your big stressors and your week, you know, your weekly priorities. These are kind of like your big stressors that need to get done. Weekend plans, that's kind of like a neat thing to add in there. It's like, what are some things I'm gonna treat myself with? Or kind of like, what are the things that, you know, the family's got planned? This is a good thing, just kind of jot those down. Your habit tracker, that's like for you. What are the habits you wanna create for yourself to build yourself to be that better man, right? To be that entrepreneur boss dream that you got, right? What are those things? Get them in there, check them off every day and do them. Lastly, we've got a great section at the bottom that's collapsible for your daily to-do. These are kind of like the tasks you know, the doctor's appointments, the groceries, the car registrations expiring, all these things, just pile them in there. And every week you can go in here and add this list of things. Or maybe the daily to-do is not the easiest thing and you wanna just build like a to-do list, you can easily change it out. But this is how I envision breaking these three things down. Trust me, if you're looking to get ahead either in work and in business and side hustles, you need to find time to gather more information, put more effort in, you know, uh, still maintain your relationship, still maintain your relationship with yourself and the goals that you have for yourself, whether it's weightlifting or you know, running or whatever, right? But you need to find time for all these things. If you wanna be the entrepreneur, you wanna enhance your career, you need to find more time. And the best way to do that is through a productivity tracker like this. I've broken this one down super easy for you. It's in the description, download it if you need a resource. Other than that, I hope you found some value in this video. Please like, subscribe, see you in the next video.